An anime about an invisible girl and an outcast guy where the romance that blossoms is fought by literally the time-space continuum itself. Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai excites you with an intriguing mystery, but it also depicts a very realistic yet almost fantastically optimistic relationship. The great thing about Bunny Girl Senpai is the writing of this wonderful relationship. My Sakurajima is a girl closed off from the world. She is experiencing a phenomenon in which she couldn't accept herself as an actress due to her overbearing mother, and so she was paralyzed, unable to move forward in her professional career. Sakata stepped in, and in classic anime fashion, he was the only guy who could see her, who could understand her situation. Love is strange, right? It seems as though a guy helping out a girl when no one else can gives him the right for her to fall in love with him. It's a little cliche, but Mai eventually does give in to this cool loner guy type. What makes this show so compelling is simply its dialogue. Dialogue. The animation is bright, flashy, and consistently good. Cloverworks does a great job, especially when they don't have to animate fight sequences. The science fiction mystery elements inspire and entertain your curiosity, sure, but what's the reason that we as anime fans truly enjoy watching this series? We love to see Mai and Sakata verbally joust with sarcasm, dry humor, and tons of wit sprinkled into the conversation. Even in the second episode, Sakata tries to get Mai to hold his hand so that he can see if that will break the invisible curse. She bluntly replies, I won't hold your hand if it's for that reason. So Sakata is forced to declare what an honor it would be to have Mai's hand be the first woman's hand that he has held before. She eventually relented though. It's those little moments of awkward flirting that makes us feel as though our lives are being displayed on screen. It's a weird occurrence for someone to turn invisible and so it's not overly weird in comparison when Sakata asks for her hand. There's some tension yeah, but the context allows for a lot of leeway in exploring their relationship. To clarify, either Mai or Sakata can suggest certain solutions to a problem without fear of offending the other person. For instance, Sakata can take off his shirt randomly since it is for showing Mai the effects of this puberty syndrome. Those situations bring the two closer together and ultimately into a loving relationship. We love the juicy banter that is omnipresent in Bunny Girl Senpai. It provides us with the best of flirting in a condensed fashion. Something not seen in the real world. This anime excites us with strange occurrences and new opportunities for our favorite power couple to ramp up the back and forth sarcastic but loving remarks. Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai had a somewhat interesting narrative, but we all know that the dialogue was clearly why we love this anime. Make sure to subscribe, and as always, this is the Glide Samurai, signing off.